Hey everyone, it's Estriole Man, and welcome to another entry into my What I've Been Doing series, this time from March 2017. For those of you who don't know, my What I've Been Doing series is just a monthly series that I do where I just talk about what I did for the previous month and just talk about all the media I've consumed and such. Um, February for 2017, I did some pretty fun things, so I'll get right into it with what I've been playing. So as far as what I've been playing, I've been playing Battlefield 1 here and there with my friends. That game is still a lot of fun, especially when you have a regular group of friends to play multiplayer with from time to time. And I'm also really excited to play the expansion that's coming out soon. Uh, for some weird reason though, I can't find uh, on the PlayStation Store where you can buy the expansion pass for it. Or the premium pass, sorry. Um, maybe it's through the in-game store? I'll have to go check that out the next time I get on. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking that when the expansion comes out, maybe I'll do a one-night stream with my friends, uh, kind of like what we did a couple months ago. And, um, I don't know, a lot of people seem to like that, and I enjoyed uh, doing that. So, I don't know, I'll talk to them, and we'll see about it. But, um, yeah, moving on. Uh, as far as for what I've been playing for the channel, I've been playing Neo and Chante Half Genie Hero. I really like Neo. It's a lot of fun. Um, if you liked Bloodborne in particular, I think you'll really like this game. Um, there's a lot of uh, systems and just stuff to look out for when you're playing that uh, makes it very distinct and different along with the actual combat. Um, I will say though that does make it a little easier, I agree with my friend on this, because you get a whole bunch of buffs and stuff, uh, but I will say that the boss fights are still really challenging, and they're easily one of the best parts of the game, so yeah, if you haven't played Neo yet, I would highly recommend playing Neo. And then as far as Shantae Half Genie Hero goes, I really like that game, but um... It does a lot of forced backtracking and not in the good way for story. So I I don't know. I probably won't go back to it unless there's enough people who are asking for it than I will. But um, yeah, still a lot of fun. Uh, it's nice to play through here and there, but I probably won't play it again for the channel. Plus, I don't like having two series going on at the same time. So there is that, and I'm not really sure how long Neo is going to go for. <clears throat> it kind of sucks I was sick for a week, uh, because now I'm like a week behind on uh, actual episodes. So, I don't know. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> sorry. I uh, ate dinner between recordings. Like I did the intro, and now I'm doing this, but in between I ate dinner. I don't know if you can tell. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, uh, I played Night in the Woods for a review. If you have not seen that video, I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can go check that out. But I really liked Night in the Woods. It's very well written. Pretty good story. And um, yeah, it's just a great uh, palate cleanser in a way because we got all these big games coming out. So if you just want something small to play and just something a little different, then yeah, I'd highly recommend Night in the Woods. And then, as you can tell, I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn for the last week. Uh, I'm about 12 hours in, and I love the game. Um, it does a lot of things great. That's not a sentence, but I've tried recording this a lot of times now, so I'm going to keep this. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it takes a lot of elements from other games, simplifies them a, d a bit, but it does everything it does really well, and I'm really intrigued by the story. So, yeah, I'm going to keep playing. Probably going to get the Platinum, but I don't know. We'll see. And then, uh, as far as my 3DS goes, my dryer broke, so I've had to go to the uh, laundromat, and that's the perfect opportunity to play... Well, that was a weird anyway that's the perfect opportunity to play pokemon sun uh still really enjoy that game just made it to pony island and uh yeah i'm i'm way far behind on that 
Anyway, I'll get on to what I've been watching. So, for what I've been watching, uh, I'm completely caught up on Dragon Ball Super. And it's really nice because now I can actually be in the conversation at work with my friends about the series. And, uh, yeah, I'm really liking this new Universal Survival arc. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Um, I'm not going to talk about my theories and stuff here because uh, I don't want this video to go on for too long. But if you do want to talk Dragon Ball Super and some of your theories... Uh, leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll get a discussion going about some of my theories and I'll talk about what I think about Goku's character, uh, air quotes, and uh, you know, who, what, what about the Grand Priest and this whole battle royale, 80 person battle royale thing going on with the tournament. And uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to talk about it, I'll talk to you in the comments. And I also started watching Cowboy Bebop. Um, about nine episodes in, I really like Cowboy Bebop a lot. I see why everybody else really likes Cowboy Bebop. And uh, I'm also really glad that it's only 26 episodes instead of the however many episodes I had to watch to catch up on Dragon Ball. So, yeah. I'll probably finish that sometime this month, hopefully. And, uh... We'll move on to another anime. I don't know what. My friend wants me to watch One Piece. And I'm still debating on it. I don't know. We will see. And then I was supposed to watch Logan today. Oh god, excuse me. Sorry. Whew. Yeah, I was supposed to watch Logan. Um, man. Oh, goddamn chili dogs. Ah. Sorry. Anyway... Uh, I looked up the runtime for Logan, and, uh, it's like two hours and 21 minutes, and I was just like, man, I want to watch it today, but I got stuff to do, like this video, and just other things, so not today, maybe tomorrow before, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, that would be a great time, because I don't really have anything going on before that, so, yeah, I'm gonna go watch Logan tomorrow, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I've been watching. So now I'll move on to what I've been listening to. So, as far as what I've been listening to, I've been listening to spring training baseball here and there for the Royals. Um, I don't really pay too much attention to spring training. I just l wait for the injury reports, um because I feel like that's the most important thing to come out of spring training. But, of course, with, like, uh, player development and getting ready for the regular season. Uh, but we do have a winning record, uh, so it's good. And I hear that our pitching staff has been pretty solid, which is something I was worried about for the Royals this year. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the opening day is right around the corner. I think it's right around the corner. I don't know. I'd have to go look it up again. I think it's the 28th, if I remember. Anyway, uh, I'm excited for this season. Uh, can't wait to see what the Royals do. And uh, I have a little bit of a rant to go on. Not not major, but it's about Rockfest this year. Um, yeah, I'm not too excited about the lineup they uh, have for Rockfest this year. Especially with it being the 25th anniversary of the largest one-day music festival in America. And that is the lineup you have? Are you serious? That is the best you can do for your 25th anniversary. There's like three bands in there that I recognize. I mean, uh, it's... Mm. Like, I'm not even too angry about Rockfest moving to Kansas Speedway. As much as I like to be in downtown, uh, it was getting pretty cramped with everything they wanted to do. So maybe moving it out to Kansas Speedway was a nice move. But, yeah, just... Uh, my God, the lineup is just so awful. Uh, and I don't even listen to 98.9 that much anymore. I bet they're tr they're defending it, too. I mean, they have to, but Jesus, you can't. 
Freaking Sammy Hagar? Really? Uh, anyway. Um, sure, Factory's so unpredictable with this. I try and time it out, but mm, sometimes it just cuts off no matter what. Anyway, I'll move on to what I'm looking forward to. So as far as what I'm looking forward to, um, I have Nier Automata right next to me, and I've been hearing great things about it, so I cannot wait to start playing. Uh, I'm also looking forward to Mass Effect Andromeda. A lot of the changes they've made I think are good changes, like getting rid of the Paragon Renegade system, and just a few other things I think will really uh, change the game in a positive way. So I'm just really looking forward to playing Mass Effect. And then the, whoops, sorry, the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 uh, bundle comes out at the end of the month. And I'm really, really looking forward to uh, replaying those games because it's been a while. And then 2.8 just really got me uh, in the mood to play, especially uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 again. And then, yeah, as I said, Logan, I'll go see that tomorrow. And... Uh, I don't remember if there's anything else coming out soon, but yeah, Logan for sure. I'm going to try and play that tomorrow. I mean, watch that tomorrow. And um, yeah, that's everything uh, as far as what I'm looking forward to, if I can remember right. So anyway, uh, I'll end this video here. So that's it for this video. If you liked what you've seen, you can go ahead and like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more game reviews, streams, and all that good gaming stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.